Welcome to Community Updates. I'm Victoria Strait. And I'm Emmanuel Ortiz. The Tales and Tales Summer Reading Program is inviting children of all ages to come in on Tuesday, July 13th from 10 to 1130 to adopt a stuffed animal to read with this summer. Animals for adoption are limited, so make sure you get there early. For questions, please call Connet Public Library at 978-422-6409. The Sterling Senior Center will be having their fire on the patio on Thursday, July 15th from 6 to 7 p.m. Registration is required, so please call 978-422-3032. Sterling Recreation is offering a STEM-based summer program for kids called WOW Science. The next activity is going to be Rocket Science, where children in grades 1 through 5 will build and launch a solid fuel rocket. They will keep a log, investigate the solar system, design a satellite, and build a space base for astronauts. To register, please visit sterlingrec.com. The sixth and final part of the Historical Society's Dayer series, Bayer Dayer and Hawthorne Hill, will air on LCCT Channel 8, Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. and 9 p.m., and Saturday and Sunday at 9 p.m. only, starting on July 12th. To view the schedule, please visit lcctv.us. So on July 19th, you can view the episode on LancasterHistoricalSociety.org. On Wednesday, July 14th, the Air Motion Picture Club will be discussing Treeless Mountain, directed by So Young Kim. Treeless Mountain is a coming-of-age story told through the eyes of two young girls. You can view the film through the library's Canopy subscription. Please note, this film may contain scenes that some viewers find unsettling. Those under 18 should consult with their parents before registering for the Motion Picture Club discussion. Please call Joe Millet with any questions at 978-368-8928. On Thursday, July 15th, John Rogers will be presenting Bluebirds and more. This slide presentation includes the life history of the Eastern Bluebird, other birds that nest in Bluebird boxes, and nest box management. This program is perfect for those who love Bluebirds, but it will also interest any nature lover. This program is funded by the Rosemary Davis Memorial Fund grant from the Greater Worcester Community Foundation. To register for this event, please visit DayerMemorialLibrary.org. On my bookshelf this week is probably one of my favorite detective stories ever written, Death on the Nile by Agatha Christie. It stars one of her most well-known characters, Belgian detective Hercule Poirot. There's a movie to be released next year starring Kenneth Branagh, but I recommend you read the book first. The story is about a recently married wealthy socialite who was being stalked by her husband's ex. She's found dead, shot to death with her pearls missing on a ship voyage on the Nile, and there are many suspects aboard. Agatha Christie does a great job of writing tension and suspense while introducing you to some very eccentric characters. I highly recommend this book for lovers of detective solving mysteries. Before we go, we wanted to let you know that we've been working on a documentary about the Lancaster pageant of 1912. It's not quite done yet, but we thought we'd share a sneak peek. On the original pamphlet, there's a credit for costumes to a Raymond and a credit for wigs to a Roth. However, there's an entire committee responsible for assisting in costume sets and property. The names of these people is all we have to describe them individually. Newspapers state that pageant master Joseph Lyndon Smith designed the original costume sketches. In the special collections at Thayer Memorial Library are the original costume design drawings. There are no known patterns to exist, but the sketches are relatively simple or common pieces to make along with notes on specifics of certain aspects of the costume. For instance, the Puritan costumes for men have notes such as cloth socks made of cotton or wool. So keep your eyes peeled for the airing schedule by visiting slctv.us. And that's all we have time for. We'll see you next time on Community Updates.